Good morning, folks. We have a lot of space weather to cover today. Also, two excellent articles from the journals. We've had several more eruptions and items to note, and we're starting with the solar wind. The purple and yellow lines, plasma speed and density, have variation together at the right side of the chart early this morning. That's the weak CME impact, and indeed, it was so weak it didn't even produce geomagnetic storm conditions, just a touch of instability in the field. On the GOES X-ray flux, you can see we had some bigger M-class flares, a double hump event, and an M8.6 just a bit ago that nearly hit X-class. The first of those was more relevant, and we'll watch it here. First in 131 angstroms to see the double burst of light from the flare, departing shots from the active region. In 171 angstroms, we can see not only the eruptions, but the aftermath in the local magnetic field arches as plasma repopulates the area, and the disruption tries to restabilize. We'll watch it one more time in 193 angstroms, and we have eyes on the rippling effect through the corona that occurred with the first of the two eruptions. That ripple was once again the signal of a strong CME, and coronagraphs show it had a very wide burst. Once again, not something scary, but this is also wide enough it has a good chance of impacting the Earth in the coming days. Then, as it was departing, the impulsive flare at M8 occurred, now far enough turned away that it's no longer an Earth-directed eruption threat. Goodbye, little guy. Two other things to note on our star. Coming off the south is a huge solar tornado. This isn't a space weather concern, but it is gorgeous to see. Little coronal cavity on the end of it as well, standing eight or nine Earths tall off the south polar crown. We also have a fairly impressive sunspot group entering center disk. This one is not only large, but it has beta gamma delta magnetic class, which usually means high flare potential. Beta means it has both positive and negative polarity aspects. Gamma means you can't separate those polarities with a single continuous line. Red negative is split. And delta means positive and negative are closely interacting, and that's usually the flare zone. But thus far, it hasn't produced much of anything. However, that magnetism does require our eye today. We should also be expecting coronal hole impacts in the coming days from both the southern opening and the newer ones incoming on the north. Definitely going to be more to discuss here in the coming days. First up in the articles is another to add to the hundreds of papers on solar effect on the heart. Now because I have to clarify this these days, yes, that thing some people got stuck in their arms appears to be correlated with an uptick in death from unknown sources, including heart issues, but there's more than one thing that affects the heart, and all of this data is from before 2013. What's excellent here is that both the high and low geomagnetic activity appears correlated with negative impacts on the cardiovascular system. We have seen that both high and low effect before. Learn more in Chapter 6 of Weatherman's Guide to the Sun. Much of the rest of the book and our other books discuss solar forcing of the climate and the ongoing geomagnetic changes on Earth leading to the 12,000-year cycle disaster. This paper looks at reconciling the solar and geomagnetic influence on cosmic radionuclides, but the graphical tracking is something everyone should remember. On the right, on top, shows how the sun has been more active during the period of, quote, global warming than in a long time, much further back than this chart shows even. And on the bottom is the geomagnetic field strength, with the obvious drop occurring recently that is leading into the modern excursion magnetic pole shift, etc. Rare to get a climate and disaster scenario reminder from the same paper. You can find Weatherman's Guide to the Sun, the next end of the world, and the update to them both, the 2022 Observer Supplement, at the links found below the video in the description box, along with our hats, shirts, children's science books, and more. We greatly appreciate your support. We've got shots of our star to close. Subscribe and we'll do this all again tomorrow right here, but right now at 6 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.